All right, hello and welcome to part three of my Spyro Year of the Dragon Let's Play. As you can see, I need ten eggs to unlock this level, but I do Last indeed have ten. Is working again. Come visit me at the Tiki Lodge. I don't remember these guys being Australian, but they apparently they are. So yes, we have Molten Crater, so let's go. Now then, you cannot complete this level at the first attempt, so I'm going to be pretty quick in this level. Not really going to do any of the challenges for the eggs. Pretty much go in, get out, probably get a few gems, and then come back later when we've got Sergeant Turd. Ooh, that's a rather kinky whip you've got there, sir. Don't whip me. Sparrow's not into that at all. Ooh, another kinky whip. Not in my house. No whipping in my house. Right, there's an egg down here. Who is this? It's Ricky! Ah, oh, Ricky went splat. Fly over here, flame you in the crotch, and you in the crotch, and a naughty warthog, and charge these enemies. Oh god, I missed one of them. Of course, you cannot flame these arm these armies, these enemies, because they have armor. I've got my armor and my enemies the wrong way round for a moment. Oh, sorry, will you stop bothering me? I know my friend Sparks, he's been in there since the first game. Of course, in this game you do actually get to control Sparks during some of his levels. They were never among my favourite levels, but I think it's a cool little, oh, different type of level to play. How dare you whip me? So yeah, I'm pretty much going to go in this level, collect a few gems, then get back out. Right, you'll give me a lovely egg, won't you? They were giving them away at the Tiki Lodge last night. Who have you given me? It's Curly. Oh, bless you, Curly. Sneezy Dragon. Right, there we go. That's 22, and might as well return back home very quickly. So we'll do Seashell Shore down. Seashell Shore, that's a really hard thing to say. I'll do that soon, but for now, it's time for the first Speedway level in the game. Mushroom Speedway. Right, shut up, Sparks. Your voice is actually pretty annoying. Which challenge would you like to play? Right, let's start off with the time attack. Here's a hint, shut up. Right, so rings first, as Sparks is going to say in that annoying voice. Then on to Dandelion, so yeah, Speedway's not my favourite type of level. I don't mind them as much in Spyro 3. The Spyro 1, they're much more annoying, since a lot of them are completely at random. You, you can get lost easily and you don't know what order to do. The ones in Spyro 3, pretty straightforward. Onwards to the spiders in the cave next. And last spider, onwards to the butterflies. My tactic is to go head on, you can go behind them, because this way you will miss maybe a few of them. How many have I got left? Two left, one down here, and the other one is up here. There we go, plenty of time, I didn't, well not plenty of time, only 6.7 seconds left, but not too bad. A bunch of sheep and flying saucers Whoa, just got a bunch of sheep and flying Looks saucers. Like I'll have to hop in my plane and teach him some manners. Right, so of course in every Speedway in Spyro 3 there is a secret challenge. In this one I've got to shoot down all the sheep sources. Right, three out of seven, who's still left? Can I do a barrel in this? Oh god, hello. Oh, he's crashed right into me, I didn't know that would blow me up. The challenge can actually be quite annoying, it was not in my... This should now have been in my top ten most annoying challenges! I'm already annoyed! Right. <laughs> Attempt number three. I swear those things were hitting me when I was not even close to me. Right, die, sheep, die. Mutton for dinner. Oh, careful of that. Speed up, that's six. I think I saw him down to the left. There we go. Third attempt, Check got there in the end. The squad leader had abducted this egg. It's Tater. Oh, a little potato dragon. Gonna mash you up, lovely. Nice bit of mashed tater. It's Sabina. Almost like Sabrina, the teenage botch. Now then, these races on this game were made much harder. 
I'd say the only one that's relatively easy is the race the bees. Of course, you get to race the boobies later. They're pretty hard. The butterflies are also difficult, along with the... Are they flying pigs in the farmyard one? I believe they're flying pigs. Right, speed boost down here. This is a tricky one to get. Oh... Spy does like to fly all over the place. Right, flame you. I'm up to third already in the first lap. What a lovely first lap here in the Spyro Grand Prix. Catching up to second now. Come back here, Mr. Butterfly. I want to make butter out of you. So yeah, I never really liked the changes they made to the fly mechanics in these speedway races. It kind of feels very floaty. Like, you move it a little bit and you fly way too much to the left or the right. There we go, though. I've still not made any positions on this lap. I swear I've not made any mistakes. I can't even catch up. What am I meant to be doing? Oh wait, not that. <laughs> Is it like a barrel roll burn? No, that's a that's a loop the loop. That's worse. No, I've lost the race. I did say the challenges were quite hard. I think my mistake was doing a loop the loop in the middle of the race. Bloody butterflies. I'm not entirely sure where I was losing time, but it could just be because I'm a bit rubbish. Uh oh. Well, that lost me a lot of time. I swear I did not even get close to hitting that. What a weird hitbox. Can we exit this speedway yet? I don't want to bother doing it. Um, why have they made this race so hard? Look how far ahead the leader is. Am I not going to win? I swear I'm not making mistakes. Am I missing a speed boost somewhere? Um, I've not won. This is top speed. And again, I didn't hit that mushroom. I don't like speedways. And he doesn't go for these stars. This is where I should make up some time, I hope. Will it be enough, though? There we go. I take the lead and I go across the line in the same time. I swear, I somehow lost the race with a two-minute point one or whatever. And now I won the race with a two-minute time. Whatever, it's done. No more of that. Apart from there's still three more races to do in the game. Oh, for crying out loud. No, you won the first prize. It's John. How's it going, John? Oh. Silly John. Right. The challenge I'd like to play is go home, exit level. No, no more of this. So here we go then, Seashell Shore, of course the first underwater level in the game. I don't think there's many, if any, other underwater levels in Spyro 3 from memory. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm probably forgetting one. I know you go underwater a little bit in the Wild West level, because it has a very similar challenge with the egg and the submarine. So yeah, underwater controls are not the best in the game. It's pretty easy to miss a few gems so no doubt i will be missing gems in this level we'll have to come find them so this level does have three separate challenges in and i don't really like any of them the bluto flight bluto flight the bluto the bleh, if i can get my words correct the bluto fight is not terrible I don't really like the controls of the submarine but it's not overly that difficult i know it was in my top 10 but I probably have second thoughts and my my put it as like an honourable mention. Here is Jason. Jason is crying underwater. Is that even possible? I don't think you can cry underwater. At least I don't think the tears would come out. I don't think. Has anyone ever cried underwater? This might be a scientific fact or I just might be making up stuff. I usually just make up stuff. I just wing it as I go along and see what comes out my mouth. Hello, sailor. Get smashed. Oh boy, sailor, get flamed up the bum. Let's smash through here. Care for these moving seashells. I say careful as I just get hit by one. Rather rudely, I should say. Now then, this jump can be rather difficult. As I've just about been able to make it. I'm not sure if that was hard on PS1 or if it's about the same difficulty. But alright, so of course this level does have a Sheila section. Uh, I don't really like this challenge too much, but I feel like it was much more annoying on PS1. I didn't find it too difficult in this version. Right, head bash those. 
So the idea is to not get hit by you. That's already some damage I've unnecessarily taken. Where's the cave? There's the secret cave. Very easy to miss this cage. Cage? Cave. It's Jared. How's it going, Pro Jared? Oh no, all those no <laughs> I should probably not bring up Pro Jared. Oh no, how dare I? How's it going, Mr. Snappy the Seal? A built a fortress, how dare they? Oh god, actually, oh no, the timer's already set off. Right, off we go. So yeah, have to destroy the whole fortress within the allotted time. It includes a lot of head bashing. Bosh! And bounce, and smash. I can't really see what's going on. Everything's getting smashed all over the place. No fortresses on my beach. What am I doing for time? 45 seconds. I feel like I'm doing okay. Smashy, smashy. Oh no, I've accidentally grazed that and I've got bonked on the head. How much is left? I think I should have time, is it just this bit? One more, there we go. Eight seconds left, plenty of time. To this day, I don't understand why Snappy stays in there. He had plenty of time to get out, but he just decided, no, I'm gonna sit in here with the TNT and somehow not get exploded. But we have young Molly. Welcome to the world, Molly, how's it going? Molly looked very happy, wagging her tail. Smash a steel in the crotch, lovely. Oh, I've been attacked. This is rude. I believe there's also a skill point for taking down one of these little sea ducks. I think that, I don't know if they're ducks. The geese. That's kind of like swimming animals in suits. There it is. Is it a duck? Oh, I missed him anyway. Come back here, ducky. You might not even be a duck. There we go. Skill point acquired. Might as well get the egg for completing the level now by smashing the seal in the face. The dumb octopus dropped the jail key while he was shaking me. Now I can free my friends. Well, it seemed like quite a bad plan because I'm pretty sure he would have dropped it if I'd have smashed him in the face and killed him anyway, but sure. Oh, I forgot to tell you. One of the Rhinox had this egg in his lunchbox. Egg in the lunchbox? Who was he trying to eat? Poor Dizzy. Hey, Dizzy Rascal, welcome to the video. How's it going? So I've got to get down here while avoiding everything. Do I have to hit every Rhino, I think? Or do I? Is that just a skill point? I think it might not be a... I think it's a skill point in the second one of these, but not necessarily in this one. That was a tight turn. To the left, to the right, to the right, to the left, to the left. Dodge around you, and then left. And there's one final one on the right, and there we go. Not too bad at all. Second attempt. Hey, it's the Duke, the grand old Duke of York. He had a great big sneeze. 30 eggs, lovely. There's almost a very good chance I'm gonna miss a few gems somewhere. I just know there is. So yes, this is Bluto the Rhinox. I'm not sure if it is a reference to Bluto from Popeye. Of course, Bluto is famously Popeye's nemesis, the big guy. He kind of is a big guy, so maybe it is a reference to him. I don't know any other Blutos. Right, yeah, the controls for this are not the best. Does that take a few hits? I don't think... It, no, that didn't count as a few hits. Boo! That should have counted as a few hits. Ah! Oh, because the controls are pretty much opposite. And I could never get used to controls, because sometimes they are opposite and sometimes they are not. Watch out for the torpedoes as well. I press it. Look, I'm turning. It won't turn. So then you turn to the right. Now it turns to the right. It doesn't make any sense. I swear these controls make no sense. Or maybe I'm just an idiot. I'm probably just an idiot. Anyway, that's getting a lot of damage. Am I already going to destroy him? Okay, that was very easy. I might regret having put that on my top 10, actually. That was far too easy. So that's a good tactic. Just get lots of the map... Lots of uh, missiles at the same time and fire them all at once. And we have Jackie, who can't fly. Poor Jackie. Hey, 1993, the year I was born. 
1994, all that year's not as good. Is it just me that I'd always look at the gem counter and pretend it was years? So now we're in the year 2000 when this game came out. Ooh, 2001. That was also a good year. Okay, there's one to the right here. A naughty one gem. Hey, 400 out of 400. I got them pretty easily. I didn't actually end up missing a few. That is very rare. 100% level complete. Lovely. So let's exit level, return home, just ready for a boss fight, but that will be in the next video. Thank you everyone yet again for watching my lovely Spyro Year of the Dragon Let's Play. But for now, take care and leave me alone.